Two former Hollywood police officers are getting a hero's honor. A building in the area they patrolled has now been renamed after them. Local 10's Joseph Ojo joins us with more on the event that was held today. In front of friends, family, community members, city leaders, both retired and current officers, two police officers who served this area of Hollywood were honored in a moving ceremony and their loved ones were truly thankful. Two, three. <laughs> In the city of Hollywood's Liberia neighborhood Monday, a rededication of a community staple, the Neighborhood Network Center building at the intersection of Raleigh Street and North 22nd Avenue, renamed officers Frankie M. Shivers and R.D. Sanders Neighborhood Network Center. This is overwhelming. I didn't, I didn't expect the, um, I didn't expect this many people to be here. In front of family, friends, city leaders, and fellow police officers, the two officers honored in a touching ceremony in the neighborhood they patrolled. Officer R.D. Sanders was the city's first black police officer. His son says it is great to see his father who served his community for more than 20 years honored because it shows that all the challenges his father faced was not for nothing. Hollywood always supports their officers. They have a strong brotherhood here. Then there is officer Frankie M. Shivers. It's been a long time coming. My mom passed away 40 years ago. So to see this happening 40 years later is very surreal. Officer Shivers died in the line of duty a result of a wild incident in which she tried saving a woman from a burning vehicle, but that woman grabbed Officer Shiver's gun and shot her several times. Her daughter says she was very young when she lost her mother, but all in all, she is thankful for her mother's courage and to see the Shiver's name live on. It's very impactful. It's something that my kids and my grandchildren can come and see their grandmother's name on the wall and know that her legacy is still going, know that she did not die in vain, know that people still remember her. Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.